Hey guys, so if you're worried about any kind of virus or you're wanting to boost your immune system, what they're saying right now is that for this viral infection that's going around, that vitamin C is extremely beneficial. And so one of the quickest ways that we can get vitamin C into our system in very potent amounts is by taking it internally. Unfortunately, when you take capsules or when you take pills, the availability, the bioavailability inside of our body is pretty low. So what has been created in order to, to bypass the problem of bioavailability of vitamin C is something called liposomal vitamin C. Liposomal vitamin C is just basically, it's vitamin C coated inside of a, a fat molecule so that our body is able to absorb it much easier. So if the vitamin C is covered inside of a lipid, we can absorb it much quicker. And I don't know the exact statistics, but I believe that when it comes to taking it like in capsule or a pill form, what we actually utilize from that pill is like less than 20%. When we use liposomal vitamin C, the absorption rate is up around 90%. So it's much, much more effective at getting vitamin C inside of your body to help fight off the virus or the infection that you're dealing with. So I'm just gonna show you real quickly What's the easiest, quickest route to getting vitamin C or making vi liposomal vitamin C so that you can get it into your body? So this is just, this is real basic guys. You can get super high tech, you can get really technical. I'm showing you the absolute basic way to make liposomal vitamin C for you and your family. Liposomal vitamin C, it's, it's just a couple of ingredients and it only takes a few minutes to do. I'll show you the process of making it and then we'll go through and you'll see how easy and how quickly you can make it yourself. All right, so here you can see the basic ingredients for liposomal vitamin C. It takes one and a half cups of water, three tablespoons of soy lecithin, one tablespoon of vitamin C, and you blend it for five minutes, and then you put it in an ultrasonic cleaner for 20 to 30. I've been using this type of vitamin C for a long time now with great results. So this always takes care of me and my family whenever we're running into an illness. Although it tastes, um, I gotta tell you, the taste is not great. So the soy lecithin looks like this. Uh, you want organic, non-GMO soy lecithin. Okay, so I recommend using hot water to help the soy lecithin break down. So I am doing a double batch. So that is going to be six tablespoons of soy lecithin. I need to do two tablespoons of vitamin C powder. Then I'm gonna blend for five minutes. All right, so that's been blending for about five minutes. So I'm gonna put it into this, which is an ultrasonic cleaner. And I bought this ultrasonic cleaner at uh, Herberger's. It's a, it's a jewelry cleaner. So this is, an, this is like the cheapest thing that you can buy for an ultrasonic cleaner. You can definitely find them more high tech than this. Um, and I'm sure that the higher tech ones are probably more efficient and work better. This is just what I had. This is what I wanted to spend money on. So um, yeah, you can pick this up at like a, a Herberger's or a JCPenney. Usually they carry these in the jewelry department. So what I do is I just take the liquid, pour it in there, run it in the ultrasonic cleaner 20 to 30 minutes. And what that does is it helps encapsulate the fat lipids around the vitamin C. All right, so now we'll just set the timer for 30 minutes and come back and pour it out here in just a little bit. Okay, so the 30 minutes are up. So we're gonna take this, pour it into our mason jar. Okay, so now that you're done making your liposomal vitamin C and you're pouring it into your container, it's good for about 30 to 45 days inside of a refrigerated environment. As far as the, what I would recommend for using it is you're gonna want to start off with probably a teaspoon and take that between one to three times daily. If you can work up to a tablespoon one to th uh, three times daily, the more that you can get in, the better. You're gonna know when you're overdoing it on your vitamin C consumption if your stool becomes loose or you start experiencing stomach problems. Otherwise, you really can't overdo it. I mean, this stuff is great and it's a wonderful antioxidant to load your body up on so uh, if you're starting off with kids it's a little more difficult to get them to take it because the taste is so horrendous uh, my kids right now are on one teaspoon a day um, so I wish you luck in your journey to wellness and I hope that this helps you guys
Hey guys, so if you appreciate this video, definitely please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll answer any questions that you have if you drop them down in the comments. I hope you guys are able to put this to use and it helps you and your family get through this time and any future flu seasons that happen to come up. All right guys, we'll see you soon.